but we're waking up to it we're alarmed by it we're shocked by it but god said how dare you be surprised i told you that the wages of sin is death i'm not gonna let you off the hook i'm just gonna call you to christ it's your only escape i'm gonna let that be so don't f focus all your energy on protesting you can protest somebody gotta do it but that ain't the main fight you really asking them to help us do what we've been begging them to do for years they ain't gonna do that we ain't done it the system ain't built for that so why we gonna argue with them all day help, let's turn to our people then and say while they trying to hurt us let's love on each other at least and help us work through this storm and we'll figure some stuff out together but let's get together right now let's not go yell at them and let's not burn up our stuff <laughs> and like come on man come on you got to catch the bus over there you got to go get your money out of that bank tomorrow what a come on man i understand though and God says, I understand. He says, now you kind of feel me. <laughs> I feel some kind of way too about all this stuff. Listen to this. Not just that they doing that you mad at that you doing. I'm watching you. Now, hold on. Before you go tell them what they ain't doing or what you should be doing, what are you doing with your time and your energy? And so God is calling his people. Do you see that this time we in, this is crazy. We just came out of the whole world, get shut down. Then we watch something on TV and everybody come outside. <laughs> Mask or not. <laughs> It tells us we need God, right? It's so much turbulence going on. This this is the context right here for, for that whole craziness, like in day, like just challenges. You saw when the stuff got closed off, he couldn't go to the store when you did. It's just like it's, it's set up for pandemonium. You know, people start fighting people. I ain't got no food in my refrigerator. You walk in there with a bag of groceries, I'm coming to get it. <laughs> I gotta come. I gotta come get it. I'm, I'm looking at my kids starving. They looking at me now. I gotta do stuff. Now that's gonna have a community turn on each other. So we don't get together now before the breakdown happens. We ain't gonna be able to stop that. Cause then it's gonna be every man for itself. But if we together already, it's like, oh hold on, brother. I know. I know. Now you remember that's what the Black Panther Party did around here. Hold on, they've been killing us and shooting us. So we gonna get the breakfast program going as a way to start helping it. That's all this is. Is another version. Circle the lap. Let's get the church at the park. Bring some food and get together. We gather here because God meets us here. This is strange. But I think it's prophetic. It's a passage in Isaiah that talks about when the kingdom comes that the lion and lamb will lay down together. Those two that used to be after each other. Now lying down in peace and harmony. When the kingdom comes, you'll see old men running and laughing. There'll be joy. There'll be, there'll be peace. There'll be people looking after one another. When the kingdom comes, listen to this. And God said, I'm going to do that in the midst of a broken world. That's why I said, don't just fight for the system stuff to get changed. Because I, he said, I'm going to give you peace in the midst of chaos. I'm not going to feast this. In the world, you're going to have tribulation. But in me, you'll have peace. I'm letting the world get crazy to draw you to me. Because he said, I know what to make you run. <laughs> I know what to make you get serious. I know what to make them prayers get for real, for real now. Because now you don't know where it's coming from, how, how you're going to make it. Now, now you got a real relationship with me. That's all I wanted in the first place. And don't he say, don't play with me. I'll come and turn every table over on you. If you're playing with me, I'll come and turn a table over in your house. And how you feeling like I ain't going to make it. Lord, did you leave me? What is going on now to get your attention? He said, I'm trying to talk to you all on the TV, listen to everything. Got you scared now. Stop being scared, says God. You my son, you my daughter. Take the right precautions, but don't you live in fear. Because hard times is finna come. He says, it's going to come. You not might enter some challenges, enter tribulations. You're going to have it because you decided to stand with him. It's finna boil down to who you're standing with at the end. It's not political parties because there ain't no power over there. It ain't even fit being racist in cultures no more because we got people who sell us out in a minute. You, you better listen to what I'm saying. All this protesting we do for each other. We got How you think slavery started? Somebody said, we don't like that village over there. We'll work with you. Go get them. We know they roots and everything. Like, give me the gold, the gunpowder. I want stuff. Forget my people. We've been doing this. So God said, the problem ain't them or them. Or it's all y'all. Now, everybody get your eyes on me. <laughs> Ooh. It was a blessing. We was in L.A. on Skid Row. It was police things running up and down the street time and time again. And we out there preaching the kingdom. We ain't even talking about a protest or none of that. We lifted up the glory of the king among people who ain't got nothing to do with a protest. I'm sleeping out on the streets. I ain't marching nowhere. Who gonna come see about me? Somebody should be protesting that they let me lay out here like this. They'll send the police to watch and make sure we don't kill each other, but they know what we're doing and they ain't stopping nothing. 
You tell me that's a broken system, but they say they care about us, though. That's why God said, do you see I'm letting everybody who's been lying to you that they got your back prove that they really don't. So now you'll finally get your eyes on me and listen to what I've been telling you the whole time, says God. Listen, you need me. And this is why then we become important. You got to hear this. God says, you need me, says God. And then what he says, well, what I'm now doing is I'm not just in heaven. I live in your sister. So if you want a little bit more of me, sometimes you got to connect with your sister. How you been, sis? What's been going on? She going to tell me the Lord been in my life working. I'm going to say, sis, I needed to hear that because I need God to keep working in mine. You feel me now? I got closer to God because I got closer to my sister. That's how the kingdom comes. He says, I need y'all to rally together. It's going to be hard. Life is going to be hard. And listen, nobody getting out alive. <laughs> You're going to have to die your way into the next stage, meaning you're going to have to trust God. Everybody dying anyway. So you might as well go down with him and believe every promise that he made is true. Every word he proclaimed is true. He give us something to have hope, and that's the scariest thing we ever going to face. Forget a famine and all, I'm going to have to die one day. What's on the other side of that, Jesus? <laughs> In the pardon of my sins because of the blood. Well, listen to this. I ain't shrinking from that day. I ain't rushing to get to it, but I'm walking with power towards it because I'm going to do something on my way to that day. Before I get out of here, they going to know I was here, not just here for me, but I was here for him. God said, come on, church. It's our time. They hurting. We got the answer. We got the solution. Let's take it to them. The church in motion, man. He said, I stopped everything so I can start something. <laughs> Behold, I do a new thing. Behold, check this out. Pay attention. Get focused. Stop talking to each other. Listen to me, says God. I'm about to do a new thing. Are you with me? That's the shot from heaven. Are you with me, though? Forget what they ain't doing. You, I got an agenda that'll trump that agenda. Now, if you ride with me, we're going to get some work done. Because, listen, one can put a couple people, two can put a, but what if we all come together? And the king, we become one fist in God's hand, and boom, every wall the enemy trying to bring up to keep people from God, we knock it down. You should have saw what happened today. I pulled up on 85th, and we were already kind of in a little scramble mode. Listen, we slid in at 5 in the morning. 5 in the morning, tucked in the bed finally. And getting in the bed, waking up at about 8.40 to get ready to move. And then I hear on my way, the generator ain't going to be there. After I've had a conversation about the generator, God said, don't be frustrated. I'm working. Don't even trip. I kept on gas into the spot. When I get there, my mind said, go holler at the brother in the liquor store who you told if you get the juices, I'll buy them from you instead of Costco. Go in the liquor store and tell him I need to use it. I'll give you $40, bro. Instead of me renting the generator, I'll get the money to you. Let me plug in so I can work the block. You know what I'm doing. He said, no problem. Go ahead, sir. Thank you, sir. I walk outside. I go out there. The brother come over. He says, you finna set up right here? This the main deep way over there. You finna set up right here? I said, yep, right here. You know I got to do it over here. I ain't got my power over here. I want to be in the middle island. I'm going to be there next week, but I'm going to do it right here today. You know what we do over here? I said, you know I know what we do over here. That's why we here. And I ain't come to tell nobody to stop nothing. I tell somebody, do you see something? Ooh, hoo, hoo. that's bigger. Stopping something, stop for what? I need to, if I see something, that'll make me stop. <laughs> It'll make me drop what's in my head. What is that? <laughs> Who is that? What did you do? <laughs> and what do I have now because you did that? Who am I? They told me I was this. But you say I'm a son? <laughs> I'm a son of the king. And you say you never going to leave me? They walked out on me. You going to be here all the way? I'm riding with you. What you want me to do? What you want me to do then with my life? That's what that looked like. And then we all in then. Because we wasn't just talking. We ready to walk now. You saw the apostle Paul. Jesus ain't nobody. Stop it. Who are you, Lord? I'm Jesus whom you persecuting. <laughs> what will you have me to do? Go sit down somewhere. I'll tell you in a few seconds. And the rest of his life, he was bending corners with Jesus. Man, what you over here sitting in jail? I ain't even sad. Write a letter. I'm making people happy while I'm in jail. I should be sad. You should be writing me a letter right now. But I got so much joy in him. Can't nothing stop me, man. That's the power of the king. He said, I ain't got to change the hurt. You could be in the midst of hurt, but I'm going to come and I'm going to help you with no hurt. <laughs> the helper is here. He said, I'm going to leave, but I'm going to send you a comforter. The comforter is him in us. <laughs> I hear his voice. 
I'll be feeling down. I'll be getting mad at people like, man, he say, don't worry. Like, listen, he on the journey with me. <laughs> he rock you. I hear his voice. He be toning me down. Stop. I know. I know. I know. Because he know what he put in me. And he said, I got you, son. Don't worry. I'm going to make it work for you. Just, But he said, keep, he said, but keep that energy, though. <laughs> Ooh, keep that. He said, I need all of that, son. Because he said, I watched you run after that other stuff. And you act like you wasn't praying. Don't come over here and play. So give me everything then. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> That's what Paul said. What will you have me to do? He was 180 miles an hour this way. And God said, that's the wrong way. And he did this. All right, then let's go your way. <laughs> Whatever you want then. <laughs> that's the power of God. When God talked to you personally, this ain't religion talking do's and don'ts. This is the God that sneaks up on you and knows all your past fears and hurts. And knows the thing that happened to you 20 years ago that don't nobody else know. That you still carrying around, still wounded by. Still jumping on people because you've been treated like you've been nobody the whole your whole life. And God said, hold on, I see you though. I know you somebody. Don't put the energy on them. Put the energy on your purpose. Don't, don't, don't fight them. Fight for what you what you believed in. All right, I'm with you. Don't, don't make, ain't got to be with you. If he be for you, who could be against you? Even if the whole world rise up against you, you got power. Not because you're strong. You could be weak in that moment, but God makes you strong. Standing with him. Listen, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Joy is different than happiness. Happiness could be somebody just gave me $100. Listen to this. But why you got the $100, then you just found out somebody got shot around the corner that you know. Now you got joy and you got pain. Listen to this, happiness gone now, but where the joy come from? Because I know the king lives, and in the midst of all these dark days, I know there's coming another day we're going to rise up out of this, and so I have problems in the midst of my challenge, but listen to this, I ain't got to stay happy, I got a joy that this world can't take, I got a joy that my problems can't take, because it tells me that trouble ain't going to last always, as soon, listen to this, God going to come and fix it first, listen to this, not just take me to heaven out of it, he going to give me a little bit of heaven in here. He want to rain in here. He said, let me calm your storm. Let me let you taste it. Why am I going to just make you wait for heaven if you can't feel heaven now? What was the prayer? Let your will be done on earth. Talk back. Come on. Everything in heaven said, yes, Lord. Angels is bowing. What you want? It's this surrender to. They're not trying to do their own program. Oh, look at the joy, tapping feet, dogs and everything. This is the kingdom. This is what I'm talking about. People getting clothes, food, waiting, <laughs> dogs wagging their tails. Everybody happy. Ain't no running around. Ain't nobody barking. Ain't no frustration. And we in the midst of hurt. If you walk right up the street, somebody got challenges right now, right here. But God just said, I'm going to come down. <laughs> when the presence comes, listen to this. In his presence, listen, fullness of joy. Listen, listen. At his right hand, pleasure evermore listen 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 in his presence near him fullness of joy meaning sadness gotta go <laughs> sorrow depression can't stand in his presence i'm talking about, i don't care what losses on your resume what stuff you could have did better what stuff you wish you could go back and do it again what stuff you never did and you may never get to it you might be sad about losing that opportunity but when you look at it and say man forget all of that as long as i got him <laughs> listen to this i got what i gotta have i can miss that i may never uh, sell on a boat off on the alaskan islands and eat escargot and uh, i may never do it in my life but as long as I get to Jesus, I'm going to be all right. No matter what you may miss here, as long as you have him. Because listen, this life is a call first to die. You got to stop doing you. That's what the shot that came from heaven. I don't need you to just come to church. We can do this right where you at. You not in charge. You've been created for a purpose. You don't just make up your own purpose. You hear with gifts and talents, you waste them. You even use my stuff rapping about, about you. Who are you? They don't need you. They got a lot of people rapping, they rap better than you. So you got no power in that game. If you're going to rap about you, you ain't got no money, you ain't done nothing. Who are you? But if you rap about me, I'll stand with you. I'll get your music you never had. Get your bars you couldn't think of on your own. And make it make sense to people who ain't never stepped foot in the church. And now you're somebody running around here doing my thing. He say, won't I do it, boy, if you just surrender to me. But it took a loss. It took a loss. Get out the driver's seat. 
You don't know where you're going. You done got lost 17 times. And you know how fellas do. We ain't asking for directions. We think we know. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> and I keep riding up on dead end streets again and again and again. And he looking like you ain't tired yet. <laughs> Come unto me. All who are heavy laden, burdened down, and I... Not stuff. I might give you some stuff, but the stuff gonna come and go. I was telling somebody a testimony about how I had a time I needed to pay my rent. I had my back against the wall. I was working at the homeless shelter with an eviction notice in my dough. <laughs> like you finna leave. And God said, you gotta listen to this. I'm gonna make you real, boy. I ain't gonna see you out here and be phony. If you're gonna talk to them about what I can do, you I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it on you first. <laughs> I'm gonna give you gonna have to taste this medicine before you dish this out, baby. So you 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 got you don't know. And I remember I'm like, Lord, I don't know how I'm gonna pay this out. They need 3,800 now. I ain't got that nowhere. I don't even know who I'm gonna ask for that. And somebody called me and said, Hey man, Lord, we put your ministry on our heart, baby. We gonna send you a check for five thousand dollars. Damn, no nothing. They ain't asked me nothing. We just saw what you've been doing, and all they said was stay faithful. I looked up to heaven. I said, I know you with your boy. Let's keep running then. All right. <laughs> all right. Then he said, he said, run and tell that. <laughs> run tell that then. <laughs> tell them I won't I do it. And it may not be the same way for them. Just say, I don't know how God going to do it. I just know who going to do it. <laughs> oh, I like that move. That's the love of God. Give up your cushion. <laughs> give up your cushion and give him, give him a cushion. That's when the kingdom come. That's automatic. Ain't nobody asking him to do that. When you're in the presence of God, good stuff start happening. Let's, let's put that on TV. Somebody make that go viral. <laughs> we ain't fighting against each other when the king show up. <laughs> we know we brothers and sisters with different skin tones. And listen to this. God uses things on purpose. If I could take the Tower of Babel as an illustration, God said, listen, I know the power they have if they get together. So they decided to get together and they ain't rocking with us. And so they building something to come up here like they us. <laughs> We're going to have to do something to stop them. We're going to give them different languages. Send them to different regions. He ain't got no heat over there. That's why his skin is a little bit lighter than yours. It got a lot of heat. He said, y'all came from the same thing. It was the same color. But he just got over there and there was less sun shining. And he got a little lighter over generations. And you over here in the sun, you got a little darker. But at the same, you listen to this. It's humanity. That's the only race I really got, said God. I didn't get into colors and all that other stuff in heaven. God created and it was. You, you majoring on minors. What color? Forget that. You a human. You about to die. You was born and you gonna die. You the same as me, baby. You got joys, pains, hurts. You got hopes. You got fears. You got worries. You got doubts. You just like me on the inside. God said, this is a test. Do you see each other rightly? Do you see? Because listen, we can't see each other rightly because we don't see him rightly. I don't see that I've been created, that it ain't all about me. That's a beautiful thing because it takes my pride and it brings it down so I can now be touched by anything and anybody. Nobody's a problem. I ain't bigger or better than God brings everything down here. And then if I'm low, because it ain't about what I don't have. I wasn't born here. I wish I was over there. I wish I had that chance. I wish that nobody came. Nobody was. God said, even though you're down here, listen to this. Because I'm your father, you still right here. <laughs> and look at how he then begins to enact that. He says, that's the spiritual reality. Y'all are the same. Then what I do is I create the context with challenges. And then I make you have to begin to live in the same way. Need each other. Get a problem that's so big, it ain't a color thing now. <laughs> is we looking at each other now. <laughs> Everybody is the whole world is paying attention. Let me shut the world down. And while the world, before you get outside, let me let you see what's on your hearts for real. This what's happening, what's raging, why you've been locked up in your house watching TV and all this stuff with masks and don't touch this, don't go over there, you might die from this. And all of a sudden, this was what I'm looking at, these hearts right here. Y'all see what y'all do? They'll do that. Y'all tamp your own city. You'll hate them. You'll shoot the police. You won't hurt him. You'll help him. You won't say that to them. Y'all all over the place. Stop talking and y'all look at me. God said, stop talking <laughs> and look at y'all. Nobody know. Don't you see that? Don't nobody know. The White House don't know. You don't know. They don't know. He don't know. She don't know. God says, I know. And if you listen, I will speak you through the storms. I won't make the storms go away. The storms are there to get the people who plan out the way. You build your house on, on sand. I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to the storm coming says God I'm trying to tell you stand right here you want to stand right there I told you that ain't the place to stand I'm going to send some people tell you do not stand there you've been standing there a long time I told you last week and last week don't stand right there 
God said, because the wind finna come. I'm trying to get you in position. It's going to be no wind right here. <laughs> I'm going to be standing here blocking the wind. But if you stand there, you on your own. Come unto me. All who are heavy, laden. Listen, with yourself, your worries, your inhibitions, your fears. Listen, your disappointments. What didn't happen. Some people are mad because of what did happen. And some people still bitter about what didn't happen, what never happened. He never got over it and God says, listen, don't let that make you bitter. Help it make you better. Listen to this. If, if, if you get up, you can still get it. But if you stand there and be mad, you just go be mad. <laughs> but won't you just get up and go do it then? <laughs> Instead of being mad that it never happened yet. What if you just got up and what if now was the time to do it? I, I really feel like the very, the very call that's been on my life for seasons God says you've seen glimpses of it, you felt glimpses of it, but you were really scared to be it. <laughs> You're scared of how people would look at you if you stepped into your real role. If you acted like you really felt, forgetting you ain't trying to hurt nobody, but it's like, man, I ain't got time to play. Listen to me, when I recognize my life, I'm about to die in a minute. I'm not sick, but I understand that at any moment, the Kobe thing can happen to me. Or the thing that happened to our brother can happen to me, or the thing that happened down, it can happen to me. It can... And so I don't know my times are in his hands. So I got to redeem the time, make most use of the time. I want to go to the end saying, man, I, ooh, I finished my race, baby. <laughs> I had challenges and struggles, but I was running for real. <laughs> That's how you go home. <laughs> you don't go home just like, oh, that was, uh, you supposed to go home like this. <laughs> for the king's mission. <laughs> running for the king. I felt that in my soul. So it shut it down. I, I felt like I was about to jump somewhere. I felt like I could run and leap all in one second. God said, that's how I want my sons to feel. Because listen to this. When you feel like that, no matter what happens in your world, you over that. That's what he says. I made you more than a conqueror. That happened so what? You bigger than that. <laughs> that happened so what? It shall too pass. <laughs> you ain't stuck on nothing. Nothing can stop you when you with him because he has a purpose. And the last thing I want to say is he's watching over his word to perform it he's watching what he said about you i've watched him i feel so blessed right now to be 25 years ago things god wrote down for me listen to this it is so major i'm a, we were riding to go to la i found on thursday my first sermon i ever preached this was 1996 the actual sermon now i didn't know these things yet so I wrote these things. God told me these things. Like I wrote them down and I think I remember, I don't remember how I preached it, but I think I read, I did more looking down here than I was to them. But I think the heaven was watching saying, this is not your only performance. This is not your only moment. We ain't worried about the how. We want you to say it. Because what, what you're about to say is going to be the very narrative for your life. I'm gonna put a pen in that statement and I'm gonna walk you 25 years and then 25 years later, those things that you preached then, they're gonna be real things in your heart <laughs> that you don't need no paper to say. You see, I ain't got no paper in my hand. I, I don't know what I was gonna say when I came here today. I, I got up at five in the morning, but what I got in me is God is really in me. <laughs> and he said, don't worry about it. I'll talk to my children. I know what they're going through. Just let me use you. What I have seen is the message was entitled, hold on. The blessing is on the way. Job 5 and 11 says that we count them blessed. We consider them blessed who have been able to endure the trials and the challenges of God and have seen to the end that even though God was hurting me to help me, he kept his word. He kept me faithful. I was ready to give up. I was tired. I was like, God, why are you doing me like this? I think I'm supposed to be better by now. But every hurt he gave was helping shape me, helping me hear his voice more clearly, helping me be more desperate for him than the thing I was praying for. He said, you won't that more than you want me. I'm going to hold that back until you're happy with me. I'm going to let you keep praying for that and I'm going to hold that until you want me more than you want that. Because if I give you that before you want me, when that changed, then you lost again. But if you got me when that go, listen to this, even when you stop rapping, Larry, you still got a purpose because you got me. You ain't somebody because you rapping. That's a phase of your life, a season of your journey. One day you go put that mic down for that thing and you just go talk about me. Maybe I ain't talking no more. Maybe I'm done talking. Maybe somebody talking to me, but at at the same time, it ain't about what I'm doing. It's about who I am for him. It's about what he's made me down on the inside. And he's doing the same thing in your life. Every struggle 
Every tear, every prayer, every disappointment, every hurt is part of a collection of God's narrative that says, and he's able to make all things work together for the good of them that love God and are the call. That's a group. The call, not just called, but the call. There's already people. Remember, he said, I know my sheep. <laughs> I have a people who I wrote down their names in the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of the world. Before sin happened, I know you. You're mine. He testified, Jeremiah, before I formed you in the mother's womb, I knew you and had appointed you a prophet. <laughs> No matter what happened, you started off as a dope dealer. You started off doing that, but you was going to become a prophet. <laughs> it was no other way you could do anything else. And I even used the season as a dope dealer so you could be a better prophet. Because <laughs> I go have your prophet side of folks who stuck over there. <laughs> and you know what that feel like. You know what it's like to go through. You know them hunger pains. You know what it's like to feel like, baby, I got to get it. I wear the same clothes for a whole week because I got to eat right here. He say, I want to go talk to him because he's a real tiger. He's just hungry about the wrong stuff. If I get him on my side, he'll tear the devil kingdom down because he he already said, I'm about something, but I'm stuck with these options. God says, son, I see you, and I ain't even mad at what you're doing right now. The first thing I want you to know when I pull up on you is, I love you. I ain't telling you to stop nothing right now. I want you to see me, son, and if you see me, I know you're going to start changing on the inside because you like me. I made you in my image. I got better for you. You want better. You just start them with your only options. I'm here to give you new options. <laughs> then the kingdom comes in because a minister Philip going to say, man, I'm building a house over here. I know you need some resources in another way. Come work with me. You feel me? God going to give him a whole lot. So people who don't have a whole lot, when he find them, he going to say, take some of mine. I didn't get a whole lot just for me. I've been holding some stuff and I see this belong to you here, my brother. Ooh. I'm closing with this. I was walking back on my way to the hotel. Um, we were getting ready um, to go to speak at this men's, uh, men and women's um, kind of rehabilitation center and I took this walk, went to a park, and it just felt a time of like, all right, it's time to go back. It just felt like I was just, it was like I was doing nothing. And all of a sudden, it, uh, it got like, uh, it's time to walk back. So I walk back. I'll get at a light. The light stops me. I see a brother across the street. I see him make eye contact with me. I got my headphones on. I'm writing a verse. The brother comes across the street, and he said, hey, brother, can I get some, uh, get some money right quick, like $5? And um, I need five. I'm, I'm trying to get some vodka, man. I need some clarity, man. I need some peace of mind. I said, you need vodka for clarity? I'm like, bro, I'm going to give you the money. You do whatever you want to do with it. But can we pray, though, for the clarity? How about that? And he did this. Like, who is this? Because I'm walking like this. I'm walking like he think I'm somebody else. <laughs> like, but, I, yeah, I came from that. I know this is who I am. That got your attention. Made him say, I'm going to ask him. <laughs> you asked the right person. Can I pray with you for the clarity? I'll give you the money. You do whatever you want. I ain't even finna argue about none of that. <laughs> that's, you, that's your business. <laughs> I'm more interested in the prayer. <laughs> we prayed, and me and that brother stayed on that corner with tears in his eyes for at least 30 minutes. And I said, bro, before we go, let me take a photo with me and you so I can remember this moment. He said, no, brother. Before you do the photo, let me do the video. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something good. <laughs> I said, all right, brother. <laughs> huh. And his heartbeat was, my brother saw my knee and met it. I fell out over my brother. I don't know him. I may never see him again. But he felt, he felt, ooh, he felt it. He felt what I felt. You my brother. I see you, boy. You hurt. I'm going to give you this. You do whatever about that. But I'm going to give you this. This prayer, I'm going to take you to the Father. This is your son. Help him see you, Lord. I walked away. The boy was elevated. He was different. And the Lord said, everywhere I send you, that's the essence of what we're doing. Whether you rap that, you preach that, it's that simple. Bring my children to me. However you got to do it. Food, music, parks. Wherever, let them come to me because it's getting it's about to get crazier. And I want to get mine close. That's what mom come here, baby. They shooting outside. Y'all come here. I, I'm going to that's the mothering heart of God. Come here, baby. Come on. That's what God. I ain't worried about that. You was over there doing something you shouldn't have been doing. But come here, baby. The storm is coming. 
That's how much I love you. I ain't coming to whoop you about that. There's something more important, your safety. Come here. As we come to the table, may you feel it as an entrance into your father's house to a seat with your name on it. It cost him everything for you to have his seat. But he said, come on, baby. I ain't finna argue with you about nothing. Don't worry about that. That's your seat. Come sit down. I just want you at my table. <laughs> Father, today, may we taste your very love. May we taste your love. For God so love. He gave. He was willing to be hurt. He was wounded for our transgression. Bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement, the whooping, that made the whooping not come our way, fell on him. And he didn't say a word. He could have said it wasn't me. It was him. And it would have been right. But he didn't say that. He took the rap. Ooh. Oh, we salute you, Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. As we come to the table, may, may you taste your father inviting you, this person, not the person next to you, you. You're going to see him by yourself. <laughs> it's gonna be the, you're going to see him. It's going to be just you and him. Your husband ain't going to be there in that moment. You, you and him. So, so, so thank him for what he's done for you to make that moment a great moment. <laughs> no matter what you experience down here, whatever hurts. <laughs> It's going to erase all. He said he's going to wipe away everything. No more cry. No more pain. So let's, let's, let's just do the real work then. Since we promised pleasure there, let's not seek our comfort here. Let's work. Let's work. Let's, let's work for his glory here. He's earned our comfort. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, as the elements are coming, he took bread and he broke it. And he said, this ain't special. This is just a cry. This is just bread. Spread. We can eat bread without this thinking about this. You can eat bread thinking about this. He said, but I'm doing this in this moment to say it's like this. Bread. That's whole has to be broken so that more people can get it. <laughs> Can't just have one loaf. How, how we gonna all eat that? <laughs> Give me a piece of that. It's broken so that everybody has what they need. Because listen, the whole world is hungry. We all hungry. We're born because we're disconnected from God. We're hungry for God. <laughs> I keep shoving other stuff in that in that God spot. It's like, that won't fit, that won't fit, that won't. And finally, God gets there. So communion is God saying, here I am. I'm offering myself to you afresh so you can remember what I did. That's what this is. This is the go back down memory lane. Many Ripperton on them. <laughs> back down memory lane. <laughs> this is the go back and say, remember what I did at the cross? Remember, it still holds true today. <laughs> All of your sins still are covered. <laughs> the work really is finished. It really is finished. You can rest, son. You can rest, daughter. I know you got sin in you, sin on you, sin around you, but I'm going to save you from your sin. Don't worry. I don't need you to be perfect. My, my righteousness is perfect. You in Christ. If any man be in Christ, they become new. New creation means they have a new way of relating to God. I'm not relating to God based upon my deeds. As if I got to hand him a resume, you know, people say, I get myself together, then I'm going to come to God. You don't see it. You can't get yourself together. You just come to God as you are. It's the only way to come to him. Then he said, all right, now I'm going to save you. <laughs> I'm going to love you. I, I don't want you to fix yourself because I don't know who that is. I, that's the real you. The real you, that's who you are by yourself. All that. I love you. And then we'll walk and we'll make it better. Over time. You're going to still fall down. You're still going to struggle with some stuff. You ain't going to come in just because I believe God. I got everything right in my mind about how I'm going to live now. God said, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with taking the journey with you. He said, I know I'm going to finish what I started in. <laughs> I'm not panicking <laughs> because you ain't fixed yet. <laughs> you only been knowing me three weeks, two years, 10 years, 25 years. Larry, you just a baby. <laughs> you don't know nothing. <laughs> I'll take care of it, though. Cover your mistakes, your flaws, and use you. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, can somebody bring me one, please? He took bread. Thank you, Brother Marcus. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and he broke it. Would you take your cracker? 
and break it in half, please. Thank you, sis. Break it in half. That that shows that's your individual contribution. You, I am a sinner. A sinner is someone who has fallen short of God's standard. God wanted this. I said, I want that. <laughs> there I am, a sinner. <laughs> Whatever that is, yo, that is different from mine. But he says he he was willing to be broken for sins. Father, we thank you for your body. You were willing to come down into the world, the world you made, and you subjected yourself to your own laws. You didn't just, that's, 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 that's real. You didn't, you didn't just like stand back and say, do it like this or else. <laughs> Y'all can't. So I'll come down and I'll, I'll let my own righteousness, the own holiness fall on me <laughs> and crush me like it was supposed to crush you so that I can show you I love you. Father, we thank you that that's what this testifies to. Family, let us eat together. The body of Christ broken for us. And Jesus took the cup. Talking like I got a glue sandwich in my mouth. And you know what I say right here. This is what it is to try to do it on your own. Religion don't work. It's a it work. He got to do it all or else it ain't going to happen. He said he took the cup. He blessed it. He gave thanks. And he says this cup is the cup of the new covenant. Covenant is contractual language. It's an arrangement agreement. A one-sided when God promises pledges, he's going to do everything. He says this cup represents the new covenant between God and man. God pledging to do everything. He says this is for the forgiveness of sins of many. If often as you drink it, he says, drink it as a way of remembering me. Father, we're toasting to you. We're lifting our glasses. Lift your glass. <laughs> this is one of those hear ye, hear ye moments. We came to celebrate the king. <laughs> Father, we got our glasses in the air. <laughs> we in celebration mode. <laughs> if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, we wouldn't have no hopes for heaven or hope down here. Father, we thank you for the blood. It is your blood that makes me whiter than snow. I'm never going to be able to obey my way into the kingdom. But thank you that the blood has opened the door for me. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Let us drink together, family. The blood of Christ shed freely for the forgiveness of our sins. Amen. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. And give your neighbor some love. Father, we thank you for the kingdom. Thank you for your people. Thank you for your love. We pray for the food. May you bless it and bless our time together. Amen. Make sure you get somebody some love. Amen. Everything that he said.
saying? That's right. Oh, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, where would we be? The song was about identity. We are. And we are everything that he said we would be. His word is key. So we walk by faith in what he said, not by what we see. Hey man, I agree with my vocabulary, I can't tell it all. We are the work, man, of God will stand tall, trying to finish our section on the wall. This cause without repentance, Hey, We was born this way. We are not victims, we are victors, and we own the day. If you're going to strength, it's time to come. I like that jump. That was a good jump right there, man. I gotta come over here and see you. That's right. Feel on the porch, yep, we jumped in. And it's hard to really love sin, man. I'm praying for the strength to love him. God, give me some, some strength, to, some passion, some desire for you. Check it out. 2019, things got a little bit more clear. New challenges, new victories. Faith rose up over fear. Engineer, architect, been with me every step. He who watches over his word, hey, just to make sure that it's kept. The world slept on him, hey, still sleeping on him. He be the light of the world, may the Holy Spirit come down and shine a beacon on him. I'ma keep speaking on him. He's all I got, he's all I need. He be the man that come down from heaven and that's good. God got mouths and feet in a seed. Standing in the gap for you. Since Christ wants all back, we came to stand in a trap for you. Came from that soil, but every kingdom born bread. Grown man food, mustard green to cornbread. Born dead. Till Christ comes, filled with progress. He was convicted of sin. He was scared, but didn't know which way to run. But now I know which way to run. Hey, now I know. Run to Jesus. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. <laughs> it's not about how you start. <laughs> it's about how you finish. You'll still be able to play man, later on, man. It's going to be all right. I know you was running and jumping. She wants you to eat your food, man. <laughs> I understand you want to be happy right now, but you're going to be happy with some food in your stomach. <laughs> oh, Father, we thank you. Everything he said we be, we are. Pastor, but what it do, baby? Everything we said. Let's work, baby. Overload us, Lord. We are. We are. We are everything. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name. Which one you want? Which one you want, sis? Joy or which one? Can't take it for you, sis. Whatever you want. From me. No, you can't take my. That's mine too. I feel you. Tell the devil he can't take my joy. <laughs> Cause what God has for me is show enough for me. You can't. No, you can't. I'm a. Yeah. It all worked out. You see what I had to do? <laughs> to get the power running. <laughs> right back. But she said. Everybody come on, please. Let's go. I bought the speaker. Come on. You know what I'm Come on. You know what I'm over here. God said, who? God said, no. No. I'm getting over the edge of coming up here. Come on. I got the So I had to go, ooh. I said, look at God. My sister. That's right. My joy can't be taken. When I keep my eyes on him, my brother.
That's right, it's show now. Check it out. Hey, talk real life. I make you feel like you can't make it through, but you gotta still fight. Heels feel like burden feels like up up on the back up on the drama makes me feel like heels like nothing, and I ain't even front. It's gonna cost you everything to make your music keep running. Yeah, that's what we doing. We all family running by the spirit season coming. We back from the dungeons. Who cut that onion? Hold up, these is real tears. Conquering real fears. 2020 is my year. Glad I'm still here. When I look back, my Christ cooked that. Shook back and shook back. Like he never left. Now we forever set. And you just mad because you ain't turned your back on the devil yet. I want the next level check. I'm living life with no regrets. And you just mad because you ain't turned your back on the devil yet. But you can't. You can't. Oh, no, you can't take my joy. God gave it to me. Can't take it from me. Oh, you can't take my joy. You can't tell the devil. Uh-uh. No, I'm not going to let you have my joy. You might take some happiness for a moment, but my joy going to remain. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hey, hey, no, you can't take my joy. God gave it to me. You can't take it from me. Oh, you can't take my joy. Oh, you can't. How you doing? Say blessing to you. You can't take my joy. What God has for you is show. Check this out. Hey, yep. I done been places, seen faces, all races. Got hatred. Oh, that you hate me, so I hate you. That's sin in us, cause sin is what we do. Hey, but Christ came too, man, and changed it all. And that's what got us working on this wall. And though I fall, he picks me up. Hey, Christ the broken bread and the blessed cup. Hey, real, not just. Something that we talking about. Something that we walking out. We overcame the fear and doubt. God said before the year is out. My life gon' be different. About to change my position. Yeah, this is the vision. It's Christ that we live. The one that was risen, who came down into the world, made to reveal what was his. Father, I'm so grateful for all the energy that you gave me to live out the mission. All my problems, they have no power. No power over my peace. No power over my joy. My problems have no power over what I perceive God is doing in my life. What God has for you. It's show now. People need that song. That's what I just heard. Like, people need that song. Yeah, they need that. That's like, man, you're going to help me fight some stuff. Hey, man, Pastor Mo, get ready, man. Street Revival. Uh, the movie is out. For those who would like to watch it, there's a way you can buy it for 25 You can rent it for 10 and you can watch it for free. It's all on my website, however you choose. It is there. <laughs> no barriers. My website is P L A the number four H I M dot com. P L A for him dot com. And you can go and watch the movie, download it, all of that good stuff. Hey, come and have a seat. Straight. Straight. Yep, long, long time, time ago. ago. My life was his, now I'm a go. Where he wanna, wanna go? go? I'ma let him know. Yep, everything I found out. But those are throwing rocks and doubted the king from a glass house. Snatched out the underworld. Glad that I made it down. And it fell money, man. Your boy was on the paper route. But I'm still on the paper route. Red letters on the paper bottle. Everything my savior did. That's what I came to talk about. Walking in my calling, yeah, we ballin', we ain't playing. We all about to die. Do you hear what I'm saying? So we ain't got no time for delaying and no strain. Cause we've been at the door, we've been knocking, we've been praying. So we 
we just came to let you know that Jesus be the way in. His love is amazing. The spirit got me blazing. We on fire for the king. We coming all in nation. This is focused dedication. On the God of salvation. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we we the God of We got empower his people to go. Come on. Street revival. Street, street, hey, street revival. If it had not been for the Lord, who was on our side, bless you, my sis. Oh, good to see you. It is well. Good to see you. Bless you. That's right. Yes. Uh, I am still on the paper route. Red letters on the paper route. Everything my savior did. That's what I came to talk about. Walking in my calling, man. I'm calling. I ain't playing. Yeah. I'm all about to die. Did you hear what I'm saying? You ain't got no time for the land and the strand. That the door he been knocking on your brain. That God that was back then. Yeah. He the same guy right now. God, God says I'm a God and I change not. World, yes, sir. Made man in his image. Hey. I'm the same. Yeah. God Nick Bench. Yeah. Hey, brother Ricky, bless your brother Ricky. Hey, the brain is forever. And the virus can't change that. Corona touched the planet, whole lot of folks forgot that. This is not your average. Trying to be nice, I'm savage. What? What? Already paid. Hey, you blessed like crazy. Want the grits? Keep the gravy. I'm headed in front of the line to tell this world how you say. We God ain't changed. He said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. If I deliver back then, I can deliver now. Yes, sir. If I heal back then, it's no my. God hey, ain't for that. Ain't never some stuff ain't never been fake. My days the same way back when and today. Ain't not gonna bro. We'll set hop. Shut down the temple. I grab a mic, preach on the block. When they shoot hop and they smoke rocks and they bust clocks. We'll hit up the air. Try to shake cops. Yeah, that's real go. Let them move it. Let them rape it. We suckle with gravy. Suckle with gravy. I bet you they eat it. We suckle with repeat if we did it before. He do it again. Like it delivered. Dave from the dead. He feeds your partner from the pen. Yeah. Hey. You see, we deep up in the paint. If, if you think we ain't, ain't. we go going act even though it ain't even right. Hey. God, 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 God is not so tight. Yes, sir. God doesn't slip from this to that. God is a sure thing. God says, I swear I'll bless you. Yes, sir. You can take my word for it. Yes, sir. If I said you healed, you are. You are healed. Yes, sir. If I said you blessed, yes, sir. Ain't nobody touch nobody. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am God. The Messiah came Yes, sir. There is no other. Yes, sir. I reign, I super rule. Yes, sir. He remains the same. Nobody can reverse what I have spoken. He remains the same. And if I heal then, I can heal now. If I use my people back then to do great and mighty works on my behalf, guess what? I want to do it now. This is Pentecost Sunday. This is the Sunday God says, I want to empower you to be a witness. The same way I made Samson a witness, I want to make you a witness. The same way I made Moses a witness, I want to make you a witness. The same way I made Dev, David a witness, I want to make you a witness. The same way I made Jeremiah a witness, I want to make you a witness. I haven't changed. All the stuff that we're seeing 
in the world today is a sign that we're in the last days. Yes, sir. But the last days is not so it's the centerpiece of the last days is not violence or, right. or crime or yeah. none of that. The centerpiece of the last days is Jesus and I'm coming. <laughs> Ooh, you tap there, boy. That is the centerpiece of the yes, last sir. days. Yes, sir. That I'm coming back. So I need you to be like John the Baptist. Is. I need you to go out and tell the people, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I need you to prepare my way. Because when I come, I want my people. I don't want not one to be lost. But I want all of them to come into the knowledge of who I am. That's the reason I saved you. That's the reason you made it out. That's the reason I delivered you. Why? Because I want to send you back under my authority to be like me when I called Lazarus out of the grave. Amen. You ready? Move. We want to let you know the train is coming. Do you got your ticket? That was it right there, baby. The train is coming. This ain't the time to play with God. This is the time to make sure that you know that you know. This ain't the time that you can hide behind religion. You can't hide in buildings. But you gotta know God for yourself. So the train is coming. The train is coming. You gotta get up out of here. The train is coming. You got your ticket or you sitting in the station jaws and trying to kick it. What you talking about, Willis? I got a few of gorillas, Jesus freaks I roll with, and we roll hard. Yep, we push me, living a dream, lighting up the sea like MJ did on Billy Jean. Moon rock on ice, lay aside every weight, brush, shake the vice. Cause in the twinkling of an eye, we'll be beam like light to be caught up in the sky to meet the crash. And I can't be late, I gotta put me with God, bro, face to face. Or let me say face to feet, cause in the presence of the king, you bow to your knees with a trumpet blow. Grab your suitcase by the door, check on the road, roll and see it's time to go. The train is coming, you gotta be ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be ready. The train is coming, you gotta be ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta be ready. The train is coming, you gotta be ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta be ready. The train is coming. The train is coming. All aboard. Will you exit the car, please? Into the jar. I'm so glad you came. Go roll with a badge of claim. Pick up your new name. Yeah. New scene, new script, new film, new frame, new rim. So clean. Can't be paid with slits lane. Dynamite like JJ, man. And everybody, but the train will be burning in flames. You see, ah, ah. I know I've been changed, no longer on the block, bruh, slanging the cane. The angels didn't sign my name. He stop now, Jesus, I bang, bang, bang. Like the game, my blood, taking over this thing, bruh. Me and my cousin, the trumpet blow. Grab your suitcase by the door. Check on the road, roll and see it's time to kill. Come on, you got to what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta be ready. The train is coming. You gotta be ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta be ready. The train is coming. The train is coming. The train is coming. Let's do it again. Come on. The train is coming. Yeah. And now it's time to get ready. Now it's time to get in line. And we're gonna be like the old people said in the Saints. Oh, we're gonna march it in. That's why we're out here. We're trying to get you alive so you can come marching in. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming. He's 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 coming. Let my people know that I'm standing at the door. Yes, sir.
the train is coming. Now we better look up for your Redeemer draws now. And he says when I come, we're going to fall off. He says when I come, am I going to find faith? He says when I come, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm not looking to see people got it all together. I'm coming looking, do you still believe in me? Or has this world made you stop believing in me? See, that's what I'm coming to look for. Work, I'm coming Lord. to see, can I find some faith? Do people Work. still call on my name? Do they still believe that I am a healer? Do they still believe I'm a deliverer? Do they still believe that I have all power in heaven and earth? Or do they believe some virus is stronger than right. me? Talk, I'm looking for faith. faith. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for faith because it is impossible right. to please me without faith. Because to even know that I exist, you must come to me by faith. Because hey. you ain't never seen me. Yes, sir. Come on, sir. Work. Work so work. even to come to my door, you got to believe I am. Yes, sir. I am God of heaven and earth. Yes, sir. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the beginning and the ending. I created man from dust. I breathed into man's nostrils. You became a living soul. I am the one that's keeping you. I am the one that got you. I am the one that woke you up this morning. I am the one that's protecting you. It's me. Do you believe? Yes, sir. Work, move. So in the midst of everything, you got to hold on to your faith. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, you may lose anything. Hallelujah. But what you can't lose is your testimony that Jesus is Lord. And if you can still profess that Jesus is Lord despite you ain't fell off. You ain't fell off. That's right. I don't care what you're going through. You still got to say Jesus is Lord. I may not be what you want me to be, but God, I believe in you. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Work here, move. I done seen them ride. Hey. I done seen them fall. Huh? Watch them go broke where he used to fall. Hung up the phone, even they know he's called. Yeah, I fell. But I didn't fall off. Yeah, I fell. But I didn't fall off. Yeah, I fell. But I didn't fall off. Only by grace and shield on this wall. Yeah, I fell. But I didn't fall off. Hung out in the circus. They tried to clown me. Got deep with some folks that tried to drown me. Had enemies rough all around me. Jesus fought for me. Reason why they had to clown me. I, I'm not new to this. No, I'm doing this. In the proving this. They do the fooling this. Fell seven times. Rose ten toes. Lesson learned that every little ain't gold. Got my doctor right here. And my money right here. And even the frost became the front of fight. Yeah. Don't post for likes. We're trying to shine light. Yeah. Follow us as we follow Christ. Yeah. 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 Down the yellow brick road. He brought me out of eyes when I gave him my soul. There was a time your partner almost fell off. I bounced back, became well loved. Get it. I seen him rise. I done seen him fall. Yeah. Watch him go. Broke when he used to fall. Hung up the phone even though he's gone. Yeah. Yeah, I feel quiet, but I didn't fall off. Yeah, I feel quiet, but I didn't fall off. Yeah, I feel but I didn't fall off. Only God grace and steel on this wall. Yeah, I feel but I didn't fall off. Nah, but bro, I ain't no sad hopping. I bang Jesus, and I ain't stopping. A lot of them doing it, but not like us. The reason why, cause they ain't been doing it long enough. They ain't huffed it up, but he done bum me down. Watch this lift him up. And then he joined the crowd. This ain't a free sound. This thing been scripted. Preacher for a minute, you ain't been paying attention. This world brings conviction. I leave no room for tripping. To redeem it by his blood, I'm pardoned by a sentence. I'm like a chef up in the kitchen. You ain't cooking up. I got a hold of Christ, and I'm not giving him up. I don't care what you was called. My life really changed when I gave him my soul. There was a time your partner almost fell off. He bounced back, became well off. Get it? I done seen him rock. I done seen him fall. Watch him go broke when he used to fall. Hung up the phone even though he's tall. Yeah, I fell. But I didn't fall off. Yeah, I fell. But I didn't fall off. Yeah, I fell. But I didn't fall off. Yeah, I only God's grace is still alone this wall. Yeah, I feel. 
The man who wants me to always mention to you. That's right. The devil's not after your money. He don't shop. He don't. He don't. The <laughs> devil's not after your car. He don't drive. Right. Oh, sister. The devil's not after your house. He don't sleep. Uh. But if your faith is connected to your money, yep. if your faith is connected to your house, if your faith is connected to your family members, if your faith is connected to anything, he's hitting that because right. he's trying to get to your faith. faith. <laughs> Work, sir. Because you cannot do nothing without faith. You cannot move without faith. See, Pastor L has been out here by faith. God told him to go and he just went. But he went by faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for yes, and it is the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the currency, it is the money right. by which we bring the kingdom of heaven to yes, this sir. earth. Buy it all. It's by faith. And God is saying, I gave you the power of the Holy Ghost and I need to activate your faith because I need you to go out and take this city. Yes, sir. I need you to go out and claim my territory. Yep. I need you to go out and take dominion over this city. Yes, Lord, how am I going to do it? I don't have the money. I don't have the manpower. I don't have the... No, you're going to do it by hey. faith. Yes, sir. If you go... The money will be waiting on yes, you. Yes, sir. Go, though. If you go, the people will be waiting yes, on you. Yes, sir. If you go, yes, the help will be waiting yes, on you. Sir. You just got to go. Take one step by faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Work, sir. Work. That's what this is about. Yes, sir. This is about power. <laughs> That's why God says, if you really got me, you don't need that building. Yep. <laughs> just go. <laughs> you can create a tabernacle wherever you are. <laughs> I'll show up. Yes, sir. It's time now that the church goes out and tells this dying world yep. for about real, for Jesus. Real. For real, for real, for real. Yes, sir. See, they need to really see it. They really need really to know it. Right. <laughs> Turned up. <laughs> they need to see a yes, church sir. going yes, wild. Sir. For him. Right. That's what drew them to John the Baptist. <laughs> because he was in the wild. Now, what is this? But he had power. Power, power, power. And wherever there's power is, people will come. People will come. He draw the crowd. Power will always yes, sir. trump yes, religious sir. rituals. Yes, it will. So I'm going to let you know, on this afternoon, you got to go out and tell people, Jesus is all you need. That, that, that's got to be your message. I know you're seeing this. I know you're seeing that. I know you think this probably need to be, and that probably need to be. But really, Jesus, all you need. If the world did what the Bible said, you wouldn't have this stuff. But the reason we got all this, because we have went contrary to the word of God. God said, don't murder. It's so special. Yep, yep, he's all you need. That's what we want to let you know before we get up out of here. Jesus is all you need. What's up, West Oakland? Yeah, Je Jesus is all you need. He's all, that's right. That's it. Yeah, yeah, he's all you need. I used to live for fields to golf, Hollywood songs, and foreign cars. But now I live because of his scar. He feed me from the prison, let me drop these bars. You see, it's only by grace that I'm here today and not of shape. Fighting the case. That's right. It's only Christ that I chase. No one would date. See, I'm a see face to face. I used to live for the cream, you know. Cash rules, everything. Billion dollar dreams. Well, my wealth up on a triple B. And now I live for the king. No longer I thirst. See, I done drunk from the streams. For Christ, I'm a freak. He's the reason I wake up and give all I got like it's the first, the first of the mind. I don't take my cake up and like a five foot six, I'm gonna go lift him up. He's all, yep, yep, he's all you need. Jesus the Christ, he's all you need. Takes the sea, he's all you need. Jesus, yep, he's all you need. My dad, he's all you need. Oh, y'all, taste and see. Yep, yep, he's all you need. Jesus the Christ, he's all you need. He's shaking the hips, a stumbling block, trying to make me slip. 
but I ain't gon' trip you see I being sold out just like at the mall when them J's come out I ain't preaching for the cash out for fortune and fame somebody walking through the building started talking my name but we threw it for the king who I waste our shame and bear our pain you see living is in vain if your life don't bring glory to his name I ain't good in the rock you gon' blow in the rain I burn in the flame, I die in the game when that chopper starts to sing. Girl, I need a change. We to wreck my life as I go me on this path. Let your word be my life. That's right. The destination is Christ. So be caught up in the sky in the twinkling of an eye. He's all. Yep, yep. He's all you need. Jesus the Christ. He's all you need. Taste the sea. He's all you need. Yeah. Daddy, he's all you need. That's right. Yep, yep, he's all you need. Jesus the Christ, he's all you need. God, brother, taste and see. Yep, yep, he's all you need. He's all. That's right. You're all. You're all I need. Oh. One thing about God, we all got to come to him. Oh. Black, white, rich, poor. Oh. We can't look down on our nose of nobody. Oh. Because we all need Jesus. Oh. See, even out here, blessing your brothers and sisters is helping you stay safe. Right. Right. Even out here, doing the work is keeping your mind focused. Right. Because you need him too. Yep. <laughs> you stop doing this, and right. we're going to be out here feeding you. <laughs> Talk, sir. You don't think you're doing something special. Come on. Thank you, sir. The sword cuts both ways. Yes, sir. Oh, you better work, boy. Like my pastor said, some got to go and some got to get sent. But everybody. <laughs> everybody so don't think that, this, that you don't need to do this. You need to do this because this is keeping you on the straight path. You need to work. I need to preach. When I preach, it strengthens me too. The more I preach, the more I believe too. Yep. Stir it up. The more I preach, I become the victim of my words too. Stir it up. Because I said, you can't tell people that and you don't believe. Right. Stir it up. So you need this too. Hallelujah. You need them and they need you. That's right. Jesus needed sick people because he was a doctor. <laughs> And what good is having to be a doctor and you don't have no patience? God bless you. We're going to close in prayer. Stay right here, Pastor. We're going to close. We're going to take a few minutes to pray. Um, we're going to get ready. We got to get over to 23rd, 3 o'clock. We have another service over there. But I do want to pray. I, I feel like this because this is Pentecost Sunday, right? I feel like without us even making a statement, God made the statement. The Spirit has shown up. And so I believe that we are standing in hollow ground on this moment. And so, Father, even as, as you would take this moment for us to pause, I want to gather you in a circle. We're just going to pray right quick. I just want you to gather in a circle, those who can and will. Just come in a circle right quick, get next to somebody um, in whatever social distance manner that means that matters to you. But let's all get in a circle. We're going to close in prayer. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tackle somebody with love. <laughs> yes, sir. Let us gather in this circle. Father, we thank you. We thank you as our brother told us. We're not doing nothing special per se. We're serving someone special. Someone who thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Who humbled himself even unto the point of death. Who was willing to take a loss so that we might get the victory. Father, we thank you. And as we stand together, even those who may not be standing here, they're standing with us. Father, we thank you that we're standing united as one. We really pledge our allegiance to you, God. One nation under God. I'll stop right there. I pledge my allegiance to you, God. A nation of people. I believe that's what all the nation is. It's really say all of them is mine. Every nation, kindred, and tongue belong to me. Go tell every nation, kindred, and tongue that they all belong to me. Bring every nation under my reign. We all have to see him for ourselves father thank you 
that we've met you on this side in the pardon of our sins. Thank you that you introduced yourself early. You could have snuck up on us and surprised us after all that fooling around. Thought we had it made and lost in the end. Father, you interrupted us early. It might have hurt, but it helped. Thank you, Father, that you didn't let us have our way. We would have left ourselves in darkness. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man, but it ends in destruction. Thank you you didn't let me have my way. Thank you you didn't let me have my way. I wanted it my way, but you did. You said no. You said no. Go sit down somewhere. No, you can't have no more. You cry if you want to. I don't care. It's going to be greater later. Go sit down somewhere. You can't go out there. You my child. I don't care what they doing. That's what mama would say. Do you hear God's voice talking to you? You my son. You my daughter. Sit your tail down somewhere and act like you know. Father, we thank you. Father us, teach us, lead us, guide us, love us, shape us, and mold us. We need you. Don't let us go. Don't let us go. Don't let us go. Don't let us go. Hold us. Keep us. Use us. Send us. <laughs> Fill us. <laughs> Pour out of us. <laughs> Pour back in. <laughs> Make it leak out. <laughs> Make it drip everywhere we go. <laughs> Make us be leaky, God. <laughs> you keep pouring in, we'll keep pouring out, God. What if, what if that's the arrangement? Pour in so we can pour it out, God. More love, more encouragement, more joy, more peace, more courage, more understanding, more power, God. Keep pouring it in and we'll share it with your sons and daughters, God. So that they'll be able to sing this song from a past tense point. They'll be able to be on the other side and shout their troubles over and look back and say, I never would have made it through all of that. I was stuck on stupid cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, running after my fantasies and my dreams. But God stepped in and said no to me. It was the best thing somebody said in the Psalms. I'm glad that I was afflicted. I learned your statues. I'm glad you got on my backside. I'm glad you cornered me in and wouldn't let me go over there no more. I'm glad you wouldn't let me have happiness while I was still trying to do it. I kept doing it, but I couldn't be happy with it no more. And you were teaching me, I'm not going to let you be satisfied with something less. Thank you, Father. Father us. You are a good, good Father. Faithful Father. A loving Father. Merciful Father. A providing Father. A gentle Father. A serious Father. A Father who loves me and he has shown me his love. Thank you, Father. Help us to love our brothers and sisters as you have loved us so they can feel this and it'll cause them to come home. Come home to you. We thank you. We pray for the service now on 23rd. Pray for the sound that needs some help already. Open the door for that so when we get there, what we need to do can get done. Thank you in advance. Thank you for the food that was given to us. Got more than we could imagine. <laughs> You're helping us so we can help your people. <laughs> thank you. You counted us faithful pouring into us more and more people and resources so we can move mountains on your behalf. Thank you, God. You're standing with us. Just lay your hand on somebody's shoulder. Ask them, say, bless my brother, bless my sister, whoever you're holding. That's somebody's story. That's somebody who got pressures. They got things they're facing. They got fears. They got worries. Say, bless them. Hold them, Lord. Don't let them go. Give them everything they need. Encourage them. Strengthen them, God. Help them see you in the midst of their storm. Help them keep running their race. Help them know that they are valuable. Help them know that right through them, something going to come out of them. So that only through them can that person be reached on their job, in their neighborhood, in their family. Help them know God said, I want to use you. I'm not waiting to talk through him. I want to use you. I want to use your life. Your life. Your life. Brother, do it. Brother, do it. Sister, go ahead and do it. Let the Lord use you. Let the Lord use you, brother. Let the Lord use you, my sister. Let the Lord have his way. Father, thank you. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you, Father. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank God. Blessings to your family. We love y'all. We got to make a very quick move. If we could get some real quick help to put stuff in the car so we can make a transition. We got the other team already over there getting set up, but we want to arrive so we can keep it rolling. Uh, yeah, you can bring some of that. Yes, sir. Grab some of that. Leave some. Yep, take that over there. That's good. I brought that other speaker. I didn't need to stand up, but it's good. I had to let it charge a little bit. It greened out. Work. Yep. You got it. It's all in Four. Four. For that big tray. Okay, sir. Yeah. You guys, uh, yeah. family. You say you need 
you have napkins and force. If you could fill that up for us, that'd be beautiful. Hey, right, family, it's um power on Pentecost Sunday. Power, right? Like we we we've Pastor, been walking in revival. Hey man, let me let me say something to them right quick, and I got you, Mama. Don't go nowhere, Mama. But what, what God is doing is He's He's bringing a vibration into the earth that feels it's it's you feel it. Like people are responding to it because God is coming in a bigger way. He's throwing his weight around, right? And so I need you who've been watching, who are on the sideline, there's there's a role for you. You might still be at a distance. You might be praying, you might be sending resources, you might be telling other people to come join us, right? I don't know, you might be sharing some of the stuff, but we need you to help spread this vibration because this is changing things. We just got back from Skid Row. We got in at five this morning and God gave me three hours of sleep that felt like 10. <laughs> had no message prepared, but everywhere we've been, the Lord has been speaking, right? Because he is here. He said, I got it. You just go. I I'll do it. And so, family, if you are watching, we need your support, man. We have another mission trip we're planning, and we need to get the resources raised to do that. This one was a little struggle financially, right? Like, I needed to raise about 1500 We probably only raised about seven. So I had to use some money that I had to, like, man, we got to do it. I believe, Lord. And so I'm believing God going to put those resources back so nothing is missing. Nothing goes in my household, right? Goes lacking, right? So help me, family. If you could PayPal us, cash, app us, because we out here on the field. We're not playing. <laughs> We'll put our own money on the mission if we got to, but family help us so we can do all things well, right? And we can be at peace as we minister. Cash app is All In Nation, one word. And then PayPal is Pastor Larry Austin, all right, at PayPal. So God bless y'all, family. Love y'all.